my previous videos. Today I've got you through the process of installing and configuring my SQL 8.0.25 zip archive on Windows 10. So now let's start. Type in here MySQL community server and download the latest MySQL 8.0.25 for Windows on my SQL site, click on this link and accept cookies. Go for 64 bit zip archive since we're not using installer. Click on no thanks to start my download. If you don't want to sign up, now click OK to save or open the file. Wait for a while until the download is finished. There it is. Extract MySQL to the root path C and give a folder name MySQL. After extracting the file, right click on Start, open a command prompt as administrator. And from here, navigate to the root path and then navigate to MySQL directory folder and include the bin folder. From here, I initialize the server data directory with MySQL D and I initialize insecure for no password purpose and console. By the way, MySQL D is a server type. So now that the server is initialized, let's start the server with MySQL D console. So now the server is ready for a connection. Open a command prompt again as administrator and please don't close the first command prompt so that you will not encounter an error. So as usual, we have to navigate to our MySQL path, including the bin folder. And here we connect to our server with MySQL dash u root and skip password. I type it here slow so that you can follow. So everything went well and now we have to assign password using outer user. We have to assign a password to our root using outer user statement and don't forget the single code. Identified.
by here you enter your own password for our tutorial i enter my test you can enter your own password here to log into my sql server so but our password that i created is my test so everything's went well now let's quit and let's connect again and this time we have to enter our assigned password with dash p so on here enter my test or enter your password if you created one and so everything is okay and now we will install this server into windows services using an install command so as you can see it is successfully installed so if you open services of windows scroll down you will see that my sequel is ready to start see you next time thanks for watching